Super Mario RPG. So we're making good progress here in the game. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. As stated, this is a very good remake. And... You know, I'm in no rush to finish this. But I'm just happy that it exists. How far are we? Uh, we are... I was doing the pirate ship. The sunken ship last time I played the game, and I didn't make a single Pirates of the Caribbean reference. You would have been proud of me, chat. <laughs> you found the star, Aldan. <laughs> but your journey ends here. <laughs> you are so, so gullible, don't you know who I am? I'm Spirdovich, a member of Smithy's gang. Shocked? It's no wonder my impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Your search for the stars had worried Smithy. So if I take that star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the way to get ahead. It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over nice and easy. Get serious. Oh, so that's what? How you want to play it. What do you think will happen to the real inhabitants of Seaside Town? What are you doing? No, don't do that! No, please stop! Someone said, you're losing rewards by refusing? Now isn't it a shame for an innocent old man to be tickled like this? Get serious. No, you wouldn't! The two of you are going to- No, please, not there! I... Now isn't it a shame for an innocent old man to be tickled like this? Get serious. <laughs> no, no, you can't treat me this way! Now, isn't it a shame for an innocent old man to be tickled like this? It's serious. I think he's dead. You get better rewards if you don't do that. Get real, chat. So anyway, Spiritovich, the original name was Yardovich, Yuridovich, which I, I kind of like that name. So, okay. Okay, you can have to stop. <laughs> and to think they got the star without even soiling my hands. I'm such a genius. It scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. All right, everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here about now. These people fucking crazy, bro. Probably based on Yari, the Japanese word for spear. Oh, okay. Y Yowie. Y y Yowidovich? Is Wayne Brady gonna have to... Yowidovich? Don't minus two me. You would have made the same joke. Don't play. 
the blades late. What's taking so long? We need to get out of here. Oh, this is just great. Mario caught up with us. Oh, only one thing we can do now, although we may rust a little, we'll have to swim for it. Not so fast there. The star's a gift to me, mate, Mario. You spineless dogs have no code of honor. We'll make you walk the plank. Johnny, maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. <laughs> I guess we'll have to take off our disguises now. Group formation! Yeah. Love the scenery here. Ah, oh, man, you know? Oh, that's a good move from Mallow. Woohoo! at 30. I had to do a rhythm guitar track today, so my, my rhythm was better than usual. Oh, that's not good. I, I, I don't know why I said that. That was weird. But I'm, I'm serious. Maybe I can do it today. Um... You're allowed one brag per stream. Thank you. I appreciate it. This boss got slightly nerfed, by the way. Well, this boss fucked me up when I was younger. Many times. Yeah, this, this was my, like, filter boss in the original. Oh. Got a freebie. Oh, that saved me in, in the uh, secret fight. Good job! Good super jump, asshole! Oh, no. Oh, that's not... That's not fire, that is just will... <gasps> the will.
Oh, Mario's pretty fucking powerful. Just with a regular attack. Oh boy, Bowser's just gonna die here, isn't he? And Gino. Oh man. So close, here we are. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that wasn't too bad. Smithy is now in the race for the star pieces. What horrible surprises might he have in store for Mario? Actually, one of my favorite songs in this game. Who, Mario? Knowing you, it must have been a breeze knocking down Spiri, eh? By the way, me pirates say they saw a huge axe flying across the sky. It's probably one of Smithy's nasty friends. Go get him, pal. Well, my gills are failing on me, so I'll be heading back down. Drop in whenever you have time, okay? Your true mate, Jonathan Johnny Jones. Song sounds good. Oh, a new section. Like a real sea shanty. Oh, thanks so much. I've had enough of this cramped, dirty old place. Hey, fella, you got us out of a bind. Peace, brother. Mighty unpleasant in here. Thanks for helping us out. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Yara. We choose the best of them. They weren't even... I don't even think they were children. Maybe they were. Thank you for freeing us. Gotta get back to work now, but stop by the inn. See you there. Yeah, defeating Yuridovich in the original was like an accomplishment. I remember, like, really earning that... that, uh... message from Johnny. Ah, Mario. Thank you for saving our little town of Seaside. You exposed the fake townspeople and gave up this is your star to save us. Please take this with our thanks. I'm so relieved that all the townspeople were all right in the end. Can you believe he didn't just kidnap him? He had the nerve to lock him up, too. Me and my minions would never pull a stunt like that. Really? I seem to recall a certain someone kidnapping me not too long ago. Uh, no one got hurt, right? I mean, so, so all's well that ends well. <laughs> Come on, let's scram already. The mold in here is bad for my sensitive nostrils. Here, here. We should see the sights in town now that it's back to normal. Maybe someone here can point us toward the next star piece. Mold. So that's what Bowser's been doing. He's been freebasing mold. Hey, Mario, it's me, Bowser. You know, I almost got the voice of Bowser, but I got Donkey Kong instead. <laughs> hey. A youngster from Tadpole Pond recently moved here for good. Welcome to Beatles R Us. We run a beetle business here. Want an explanation? Yeah. Okay, I'll explain the system. First, you need to purchase a beetle box, which will cost you 50 coins. Then go to Booster Hill, where there are many beetles. If you bring back the beetle box filled with the beetles, you can trade them in for coins and frog coins. Check the menu list for more information.
Yeah, sure. Okay, let's do it. All right, we've got Sergeant Pepper. Then he needs ID. Oh, everything looks fine. <laughs> Here's your beetle box. Good luck, happy hunting. The ID is just Mario jumping. Yeah. Come on, get serious. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh... Yeah, would you like a Sergeant Pepper? Would you like an Abbey Road? We've got rare bootlegs of the Beatles having a wank together. <laughs> thrash, that is. Thrash. Someone said, my old man has an unopened Sgt. Pepper vinyl. You treasure that. that that's gonna be yours one day. And then you're gonna make it mine one day. <laughs> Joking. Chat. Room. No one believes that, right? I have my own little vinyl collection. I just posted one. I got- I finally found Tom Petty Wildflowers. I wasn't gonna order it online. I was waiting to find it in a store, and I did, finally. I'll give you items in return for those special mushrooms. You gotta taste them to find out what kind they are, so take a nibble first. I'm hoping for a special mushroom, but even if it isn't, I'll at least get a meal out of it. That was a regular mushroom. Thanks for the snack. How does this work again? Get mushrooms from the forest, you just random chance to make some money. Maybe it's time you thought a little bit more about what you wear. Accessorizing is big business these days. See anything you like here? Can use any regular mushrooms, even store bought ones. Okay. Mario, right, if it's that st if it's a star that you're looking for, I might be able to help you. At the far side of Land's End is a town made up of reformed monsters. A mouse came by the other day, and I overheard him boasting about a star of theirs. I don't know exactly where this town is located, but if you follow the road, you'll get there. So many good parts of the game, just all in a row. <clears throat> also, the reformed town of uh, monsters. You know, Chrono Trigger has a similar one. Never seen the sea before, it sure is vast. Definitely worth the trip. It's amazing, like, I'm sure many of you have games of your own that can unlock memories of where you were when you were playing them. But Mario RPG is, like, fucking potent. It's potent. Um, and one of the reasons is my uncle... I had a very successful uncle, and he had a very big house in Connecticut. This is years ago. And... In the attic of this house, huge attic. Not club uncle, different uncle entirely. Um, he, I, I might have told this story before, but this was um, many years ago. The first time I played Mario RPG was my cousin, <laughs> another cousin entirely, had the SNES hooked up to a massive TV, and we played it up there in Connecticut. And it was just this, the most 
like, potent fucking memories. I thought I was abducted by aliens up there. I don't think I was, chat. I'm pretty sure I wasn't. Yeah, my cousins and uncles pour out of a clown car. Uncle Funzalo, Uncle Bunzalo, Uncle Scrungalo, <laughs> Uncle Bun Bunkle Ungalo. He's a great one. My favorite uncle is Bunkle Ungalo. Anyway, I, the point, so that's something, yeah, that, that's a thing, is I remember that. And that and Secret of Evermore, my cousin had. I didn't own Secret of Evermore. So those two games in particular, this and that game, I can instantly go back to Connecticut. Now, that house eventually was sold, and that was only a very short period of time. It was like a couple years. But it was, um, it was amazing. It was amazing. What is this, Animal Crossing? I'm really... I'm really beansing this, aren't I? Oh, got a gold one. I'm not very good at this one. Fuck off, sniff it freaks. Oh, that was just terrible. Oh, someone said I can uh, see Samus sleeping now. Is that Marymore? Mushroom Kingdom. Well, at least we got the frog coin. You could fast travel there. Yeah, but then we don't hear as much music. Okay, I genuinely didn't know I could fast travel there, sorry. Guest room in the castle. Oh. Go back to the forest so we can hear that music again. Okay. Must kill Mother Brain. I'm resting up for Mother Brain. <laughs> oh, yeah? I like that the suit is, like, producing, like, steam.
Sleeping bounty. <laughs> There's a cool person sleeping in a bed in the castle. I wanted to see what her thick pajamas felt like, but she stirred just before I could touch them and I ran away. Okay, Mallow, you, you fucker. Good job. That's weird. Rose Town for Link. Yeah, we saw Link already. You can go to Vista Hill for a short cutscene. I quite like the, the, uh, the part of the song where it goes pop, 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 pop. Did someone in chat say skibbity fortnite? Skibbity fortnite skip. Oh no, no, no! No, I swear someone said that. They said Pikmin Fortnite. Oh no, this is my fault? Get him the Pikmin lyrics. Vinny, admit that you love Skibbity Toilet. I've seen three episodes of it, maybe four. <laughs> Gotta count for something. I don't- yeah, I think Kryken watched all of it. I'm pretty sure Kraken watched pretty much all of it. Okay, well we got a bunch of mushrooms if, if ever needed. Um, I guess we could just hop to, uh... Go to C. That's what I meant to go to. Fifty three coins and one frog coin. Return to Booster Pass? Wait, why? Buy the flower ring? Oh. You press the button in the tower that added a new area there. This is unreal. It's a ripping mushroom. I'll give you rock candy. Oh boy, I'm stuffed. That seems pretty amazing.
This one's a berry mushroom. I'll give you maple syrup. I'm stuffed. Keeps eating. Just like me, for real, for real. Just like me, for real, for real. Just like me, for real, for real, for real. Oh, uh, uh, where did I open? Um, in the tower, or or pass, not tower. I'm smart. Okay, um, I, I have a vague memory of this. Just let me know if I pass it, chat. I guess this is it. Golly, you're that famous Mario guy. If I beat you, they'll make me Sniffster number four if I'm lucky. I'm gonna murder you! Ah, uh, <laughs> the one time I wanted it for dramatic effect, I couldn't get it. Wow, now they'll make me take the training course over again. Vinny let him win? Oh shit. If you let them win, they show up in Booster's Tower. <laughs> But why is there a deranged carrot in this game? Like, whose fault is this? There's an NPC on this screen? Is it, like, worth going to talk to? Um, I kind of maybe even remember this. Oh. My business is to fill in unseen thought peak info in the monster list. It'll cost you three frog coins per entry. First time customers are eligible for a freebie. I'll fill in the entries of the entry. <laughs> I, oh! I'll fill in the entries for monsters you fought before Mallow joined your team. Huh. Oh, okay. I, yeah, if you miss bosses, you can get them there. That fella ain't worth it until post-game. I mean, yeah, and also for, if you're gonna go for 100%. Wait, what? Who? Uh, 
This voice has only led to bad bits. No, they're good. They're good, they're good. Where the fuck is the fellow? I don't know where the, the fellow is. I thought he was up here. Northmost house. He's upstairs in the elder's house? Why is there a frog staying in the elder's house? I thought he'd be at the inn. Chat, sometimes there are lyrics implicit in songs, and it's not my fault that one of them happens to be disgusting. It just, it's part of this music. That's a lot of frog coins I just spent, chat. I, I now no longer have a single frog coin. Oh wait, I have eight. <laughs> Never mind! I, I, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So, does the whole team get the benefit from this? No. This shop is the most worthwhile for your frog coins, so it's okay. Frog coin is a pump and dump scheme. Pump and dump it. Oh, what song is the dun da 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 Pump and dump it. Until you hump it. Here, right hit this one. I'm sorry, I'm ruining music for everyone tonight. jump off the tile when it's at its highest. Like, to, to the left, or right, or down. Pump and dump it, pump, pump and dump it. Oh! Oh, wow, okay, well that's a really fucking hidden one. Uh, and for good reason, it's a red essence the good shit. Probably, like, never found that as a kid, ever. That's not true, I had the guide, remember? You had the guide, but not the game. <laughs> yes, but hang on. In one of my rentals, perhaps, or later in life. I mean, I did stream the game several years ago, so it could be... 
in there. Did you ever see the comic book where Yoda is thrown into like a like a little like prison, like a cage, and the dialogue is "Welcome to your new home, freak," and Yoda's just like, "What?" Yeah, I really like that. That's what I, that's what I want in my Star Wars. <laughs> It's literally a mic emote. Oh, okay. Liter literally. Hmm. There's apparently a hidden platform. Jump below the pit. Oh. Ah, oh, I missed the combo. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I only left the screen so I wouldn't have to deal with these guys again, but I, I think I have to. Hope it was worth it. Why does the flower have lips? Could that flower play Robocop? Oh, I thought that platform was up. I thought that was like a like a way higher up platform, chat. Wait, it is. Yeah, it's a it's not a platform. That's that's a uh Oh, there's the platform. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. so high. <laughs> the Gekit is confused. All cannons are preloaded with lizards. What, like in real life? A 
Amazing. God damn, Mallow's fucking jacked now. This beam hits all foes. Build power and energize. I, I like that they felt it necessary to put a message for, like, people... <laughs> like, just in case your Mario is on the ground too long and people are just like, well, I guess that's it, and they just shut the game off and never return to it. The thing is, though, I wouldn't really even put it past people. Red bees. Do you think Mario ever gets sick of being thrown at enemies like that? No, he, he loves it. Cool. Flowers are very lightning resistant. Let Mario die, then use the move? <laughs> Wait a minute. Can you do that? Or does it just Bowser just throw like a Mario doll? It's gotta be the doll, right? Yeah. I mean, even if Mario slightly... That's the thing about Bowser in this game. He kind of cares about his rival. Like, even when Mario's just, like, slightly under the weather with, like, a mild case of poison, a mild case of severe poison, Bowser will throw the Mario doll instead. Chat, the clip of Mario spinning on that flower where I go spin and then I vomit. Comedy gold. Vomity gold? <laughs> that, that sounds like a pavement song. Wait, does Mallow have a shillelagh? Eddie Murphy is jealous of that shit. What, my comedy? Did you see that Beetlejuice 2 is now done filming? It's true chat. We're gonna get a brand new Beetlejuice rusty cock scene. I know it. Not that I have any faith in Tim Burton to produce a good movie these days. Is Eddie Murphy in it? No, he's... <laughs> Weirdly enough, though, they're making another Beverly Hills Cop movie, and he's in it. And so is, like, pretty much everyone else. So... Yeah. He's in his 60s, Eddie Murphy, I think. And you know what? He looks great.
I doubt the movie's gonna be good. But, like, Judge Reinhold is in it. I wish Ronnie Cox was in it. You know, I mentioned this, the guy from Robocop and uh, Star Trek. But, like, everyone else is in it. Bronson Pinchot's in it. Oh, shit, Mario's gonna puke again. Oops. Uh, Beverly Hills Cop New. There's just, like, one picture of it, I think. But you know what they say. Eddie Murphy ages well. I think at one point he was doing, like, reggae music or something. Music keeps you young. Welcome to the Sky Bridge. It's a big tourist attraction here. Yahoo. Want to challenge it? Okay, I'll need five coins from you. You can cross the Sky Bridge in one of three ways. Normal course, the blocks won't fall. You get five coins for that. Special course jumping works the same, but the blocks will fall. Eight coins, expert blocks will fall, and the jumps are harder. And a frog coin. On all the courses, you'll have to jump and avoid the bullet guys. Why do you- wait, what- what? Who's this guy? Who are these people? They're fucking weird! Scam artists? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I- that's the same exact fucking spot. Okay. Okay. Shadow Wizard game, uh, gang, we love scamming tourists. Yeah. At one point, they're gonna have a mixtape. They're gonna give Mario, like, a CD. And they're, they're gonna let him walk away, like, four feet, and they're gonna say, oh, uh, ten bucks. Ten bucks. Twenty dollar donation. Actually, thirty dollars. Oh, cock! Do you remember that there is a secret in that cave? No. This isn't so hard. You want to double your winnings. The course is harder, and if you fall, you won't get any coins. Yeah. Thank you. Vinny, you wouldn't believe it, but Kermit the Frog talked to me on your Redbox Spotify page. Bullshit. How do I get in that cave? Is there- there's really stuff in there, chat?
it hurt itself in its confusion. People saying me IRL. Just say, so relatable, besties. I'm, I'm sorry I said that out loud. Hidden treasure, huh? Oh, there we go. Vinny, you need to reevaluate the few life choices. A few oh, God. yeah. NGL, pretty cringe. You said that on God for frill. Okay. Chat, I'll be honest, I'm a little out of it today. I don't know if you can tell. Like, I'm, I'm a little tired. I didn't sleep great. And today was just a busy as fuck day. So you're getting, like, a really good shit-brained Vinny tonight. You can probably... There's no difference. On God. For real, for real. <laughs> oh, fucking... <laughs> Uh, I'll steal toad boot to the face, you know, all that stuff. That was an Adam Sandler line, by the way, the steel toad boot to the to the throat or something. Adam Sandler had a co okay, here's a oh God, all right. I've mentioned this before too, but I'll tell you again. when I was younger, Adam Sandler had a comedy album, and I thought it was the funniest thing I had ever heard in my life. <laughs> I listened again years later. It's not. That explains a few things. All right. Yeah. But, yeah. That's one of those things that I still reference from time to time, too. Like, every now and then. Every now and then, Walter. You're gonna- that's what my brain said when I was a child. Alright, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna reference the Adam Sandler album. Every now and then you're gonna remember these terrible bits, and you're gonna talk about them, and you're gonna use them in your life. And I do. I still do. That's another guy who's still making movies, right? Adam Sandler? What, is, what has he got coming out? Is, is he doing, like, a, another serious movie? Because he's now a dramatic actor? I'm pretty sure he is. Lizard movie? Grown-ups... Another grown-ups movie? No. Cute animated lizard movie. Oh, okay. Listen, I don't mind Adam Sandler too much. Just keep him away from writing the scripts and directing the movies. I don't even know if he directs, but I just I think it would be a good idea to keep him away from that. Happy Gilmore too. Could happen. All these like old fucking movies are getting sequels like Beverly Hills Cop, Beetlejuice. Punch Drunk Love is a good movie. That's because Paul Thomas Anderson directed it. That dude's, like, a really amazing director. My toddlers loved the lizard movie, Vin. Actually, wasn't that bad. When you say toddlers, I'm just thinking you have, like, two children named Todd. You just call them the toddlers. <laughs> I don't know, chat, something's wrong with me. Like, I don't know, man. 
Like, you just call them, like, Todd 1 and Todd 2, and then when you call them together, you're just like, Toddlers! And, like, the thing that's crazy about that is, they're probably, like, 23 years old. The Toddsters? No, that's- that's lame. It's a great bit, Vinny. Thank you. See, that's the validation I'm here for, chat. All of the other unhealthy adjustments in my life... No, I can just get a validation from a chat member. That's a good bit, Vinny, and then it all goes away. It's great. Love it. No one said that? Okay, you're gonna tell me someone didn't say Skibbity, uh, Fortnite earlier? Play the Mario game now. I do not want to double my winnings this time. Thank you, strange wizard that can teleport and hover and scam me out of my money. You know what, though? It's not a scam. Not really. Oh, I haven't been here in a while. I've been busy traveling around. Where are you heading? Is it Monstro Town by any chance? Yes. Okay, listen up. Look for the whirl where the ant pops up and then proceed after it. Keep following it and you'll find your way underground. Once there, Monstro Town's just around the corner. I'll see you there. Someone in chat, uh, said that's a solid rat. I agree. Helpful, solid rat. Chat, if I could have voiced that rat like Todd Howard, like just his regular speaking voice, I would have. Because I feel like that would have fit nicely. have to make wild outlandish claims. I, you know what? I was watching a video about the Kinect. Don't ask why. The, the, yes, the Xbox thing. And, and there was um this claim that Peter Molyneux made. This, this like, woman was talking to, like, an AI ch a child. And this is, like, 12 years ago or so. Whatever it was. Milo, Milo, right, right, right. And that was an insanely outlandish claim, and it was all bull shots, it was all scripted, and it was, it was shit. It was actually shit, and it never even happened. It never came out, and it was Peter Molyneux talking about it. I gotta be honest, compared to Peter Molyneux, Todd does not strike me as that much of an outlandish claim... person. Exaggerated... uh, stuff that can't be delivered upon. But Peter Molyneux was like, this is going to change the future of video games. You get to talk to Milo like a real child. It surprises everyone who walks by the office. They see her talking to Milo and they think, that's just wonderful. And it's like, AI right now is still, like, spitting up vomit. It's getting a lot better into a scary degree. But, I mean, chat, just a couple years ago, it was, t it was getting stuck on McClanky. You think about the McClanky and how delicious it would be if you boiled it.
But yes, Todd definitely makes promises that are difficult or impossible for him to keep. Formless. You know what that rhymes with. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love its stupid face. I mean, listen, the Starfield discussion is, you know, I've, I've already talked about it. Um, oh god. Uh, oh god. Uh, when I was playing the game, of course. And clearly the game didn't quite stick for me. For a number of reasons. There has been a patch. To add DLSS. And there also has been, um, some improvements and a couple fixes. A chat. Oh, man. For a game that's been out for, like, two months, I don't know, I, I was kind of expecting a little bit more. Like, DLSS was modded in, like, day two. I don't know. Starfield is fun until it really isn't. It's so fundamentally boring. I actually get a little agita thinking about going back to Starfield and all of the, the inventory items I have and, like, like the fucking metric fuck ton of quests I picked up. Like, it gives me a little anxiety, and I just haven't had the heart to do it. And I actually did defend the game a little bit, to a degree. I had some things I liked about it. Um, but I never got the same feeling of... just go for a walk and find some shit. It just, I don't know, it just didn't ha it wasn't the same level of fun. Kind of hard to explain. I see people comparing it to Skyrim like Skyrim's some gold standard. It's not. Skyrim has its issues. It's fun, but there's just this, like, you could just get lost and walk in any direction and find random shit. And in Starfield, I just felt like I was in a menu for so long. Oops. Sorry, Bowser. You have died again. The creation kit's not out yet. It's too soon to know if the modding crowd will make it good yet. I would argue that for... A, I, I, Todd said something like... It wasn't until last year when we found the fun in the game. Something to that effect. Like, it took them a long time to find the fun. And I would argue that maybe... You know... You should find the fun earlier. And if modders have to do it for you, that kind of sucks. There's a lot of potential with Starfield, and I do maybe want to go back to it one day. And I hope... It ends up being a better game than it is now. I just don't care about the characters. I don't care about the, like, the lore. You know, I don't like landing on a planet and just seeing the same sights over and over again. It, for all the comparisons to No Man's Sky, even that game fucking bores me to tears. And I love it. When it was good and I was taking pictures of cool planets, I thought it was awesome. But, um, I just don't have any interest to go back to No Man's Sky either. They did a great job updating it. I give them credit. Where credit is due. But, and I love space and I love the idea of space exploration, but like... I see Bethesda has been, um, commenting on bad reviews of their game. And people are like, it's so fucking boring when you go to an empty planet. And they're like... When the astronauts landed on the moon, there was nothing there, but they weren't bored. And it's like, are you people this tone deaf? That's not how that works. And that's a real fucking quote. It's so, so bizarre.
Now, granted, that's probably just some PR guy working at Bethesda and not Todd himself. Or like John Bethesda, but it's still a little... It's still a little fucking weird to type something out like that. Read it to yourself and be like, yes, this is good, I shall post this. It was Todd. <laughs> it was definitely Todd. Okay, enemies are hitting way harder now, chat. Someone said every developer at Bethesda is a Todd Howard sock puppet. <laughs> There's two ways to interpret that, and both ways are funny. Chat. That was awesome. I got two frog coins from that. Oh, hello again. Isn't this incredible? It really does look like the edge of the world, doesn't it? Ah, it's too spooky for me. I'm heading back to Monstro Town. See ya. Solid rat. What a solid rat friend. It's a little confusing, but I think I understand what's happening now. Solid Snake has the diaper chief. Who does Solid Rat have? Eminem? Oh man, I knew it. I knew it as I pressed it that I was out of sync. I am gonna get 30 today, I think. I'm pretty sure I am. Bowser learned new move, Crusher. Mr. Crusher. Earth eruption. Oh. I'm not uh, exactly planning on getting 100. I would, yeah, that would be a huge fucking pain in the dick, but everything else, uh, yeah, 30 sounds good. Get 30. It, was it always this easy to farm frog coins from these guys? Not that it's easy, necessarily, but, like, they're, they are plentiful. No? Oh. And back to the beginning. Shit. Okay, you only have to fight them once, and then you, you do that, and then it, they reveal the way. But I just, yeah, I wasn't sure what was even fucking happening for a minute. I got it now. 
chat, what's your favorite omelet? Denver style? What's- why- what is that? Egg? Well, yeah, egg. What, what do you mean, Denver style? Oh, shit. Hang on. To be continued in just a moment. <laughs> Peppers, onions, and spicy? Green pepper, caramelized ham, and onions. That sounds... great. Love that. Today I had ham and cheese, but I like my- usually I like onions. Um, I like, like, a western omelette. So yeah, it's just like... ham, onion, and pepper. Spinach, tomato, and cheese, that's pretty good. Vinny, what are your thoughts on Costco hot dogs? I always get that question. Okay, so I mentioned this in a video that's pre-recorded that hasn't come out yet, but I got one the other day. Oh man, if I still had that star. You fuck. The video did come out? No. I'm not paying 400 coins for this. I, I'm already leveled nicely. The star is 100% worth it. Too late now. I, I didn't think he would go forever. Uh, it's okay. You'll need those extras for post game. Come back. Okay, so, uh, I had to go and pick up some stuff for a video I'm gonna be doing at some point, right? And there just so happened to be a Costco near where I was going. And I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get the Costco hot dogs and make my membership card worth something. So I got two hot dogs. And wouldn't you know it, they tasted exactly like hot dogs. I didn't eat- oh, I didn't eat the two of them. I had one and a half. And even that was a struggle, but, you know... They're so goddamn cheap. It's $3.20 for two hot dogs that were massive... ...and a drink. They're fine. Chat, they're fine. They're not special. They're very cheap. <laughs> and, and that's fine. Listen, even Anthony Bourdain ate some garbage once in a while. I... I like them well enough. I'm, I'm a fan of... ...their price. If you want your fortune told, it'll cost 50 coins. Oh my god. These fucking hucksters. Hit them in any order, you'll, you'll receive your fortune. If you proceed through the next door, you'll find some rare items. In Quebec, we have Costco poutine. I would love to try that. I, you know, I see other things on the menu. There's like a roast beef sandwich now for like 10 bucks. I'm still not into the Costco pizza. I think that's another thing that's probably... You know... 
it's good because of the price. And if you don't live in New York, you know, and again, I like shitty pizza once in a while. I do. I, I get Domingo's, I get, sorry, Domino's with one of my friends. But uh, when it comes to, when it comes to the Costco pizza, I haven't had it in a while. I need to try it again. The hot dogs are completely fine. The buns are good on the hot dogs. But I remember thinking to myself that that's it. Because people rave about this shit. But it's, again, it's a good price point. So next time I go, I'll try that. But also the chicken bake, I haven't had there. I, I've microwaved the chicken bake. And uh, it's fine. Maybe you gotta put that shit in the oven though. You know what? I'm gonna say the chicken bake was more than fine. That was actually good. Like, for something that you bring home and make, that's actually, a, like, a pretty good thing. I like that. Ikea meatballs. The meatballs and the sauce are legit. The hot dog is way better than the chicken bake. Uh, you know what? I gotta try a full Costco review. <laughs> and just get, like, all the items, and then, like, bring a camera. And do the thing that, you know, everyone does. Like, when they review food at a restaurant, and just try everything, and talk about it one by one. The yellow tile will get you to the next room. Your fortune determines which room you'll arrive at. If you're lucky, you'll run into below me. And Monstro Town will be just beyond him. Mm, so hungry. I wish I had something to eat. Yeah, me too, after talking about food. Wow, that was quick. Oh, okay. Uh, hello. Hello. Mmm, you look so tasty. I think I'll have just a snack. I usually go by the shadow now, and that, that's not a great way to do that. When this enemy, you can't really see the shadow particularly well. Oh, fuck. Well, it's, it's nice to get the option to switch. It's either really good or terrible. I never forget a taste! In fact, after just one slurp, I can clone someone! Watch! You all look delicious! What <laughs> a taste! <laughs> this is awful voice I'm doing. Oh, you son of a bitch. Chat, this is the second Mario clone of the game. What the fuck is happening? Ooh, resistance. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like I just killed the real Mario. As long as he doesn't say, I can eat a peach for hours, we're good. Still fucking weird, though. That movie will probably get a terrible remake at some point soon. Face off. I mean, it's not like the movie's particularly amazing to begin with, but... It's got its charm. Again? I'm starving! Time to go home for dinner! Goodbye, boys and girls! <laughs> I wish I didn't commit to that voice for that character. Think about this for a minute. Fecal Insurgency. Starring Timothy Chalamet and Tom Holland. A Spike Lee joint in the Face Off series of films. Oh, hello again. That pipe is a shortcut to my home, Monstro Town. I'll see you there. <laughs> What's wrong with my voices tonight? Everything's weird. This was one of my favorite locations in Mario RPG Original. Oh my, a traveler from afar. Welcome to Monstro Town, where many monsters mingle. I'm the landlady, Monster Mama. The star, you say? Oh, you're here to see our star. She's upstairs, so feel free to go and take a look for yourself. been all around the world, but the strangest person I met is this old geezer in Rosetown. It's really weird, but definitely worth meeting. Sometimes if you jump at the right places, a treasure box will pop out of thin air. Anything like that happen to you? These treasure boxes are known as hidden treasures because they appear out of nowhere. If you think you found them, you think you found them all, but you still have ten hidden treasures left. What do you think? Isn't our star adorable? She's so talented, too. Folks come to see her from afar. No, no, no! Wrong star! This one! Star bees? Oh, star piece! No, I'm not familiar with them. So you came all the way out here to search for a star piece. Must be really important. This is the last place on land. If you can't find it here, the only place left is up. So you want to go there? Huh. Well, you're an open book. Okay. Here's what you need to do. Uh, there's a secret passage to the sky at Bean Valley. But first you must scale the cliff beyond the desert to get there. 
Since you're such a nice guy, I'll introduce you to someone who can help. Paratroopers, I need you! What was our flying time, troops? 8.52 seconds, Sergeant. Paratroopers reporting for duty, ma'am! We are 0.52 seconds late! I held myself personally accountable for the delay, ma'am. Still rigid as ever about your rules and regulations. No need to bother with the protocol around me, Sergeant. I've got a favor to ask of you. Yes, ma'am! Anything we can do for a civilian? This fellow here really wants to get to Bean Valley. Could you help him scale the cliff? Understood, ma'am! The orders are, get Mustache over the cliff! We will succeed! We will now deploy ourselves to the cliff at last end! Paratroopers, keep a tight for me! We are ripped out! They're odd, but trustworthy. Good luck with your search. What the fuck is this? Holy shit, Private Pile! Is this a jelly donut? So the super jump is your specialty, right? Those multiple jump seers are pretty amazing. I heard that your record for consecutive jumps stands at 26. How do you do it? Jump at least 30 times in a row, I'll give you a prize. You there! Rumor has it you're quite an accomplished jumper. It's really weird, sometimes I hear the guy next door. He's always mumbling about a crystal this. And evil that. Isn't a crystal some kind of shiny rock or something? I know I've seen those somewhere. Who could it be? Yes, just a minute. I'll be there in a second. Oh my! Goomhilda, what are you doing here? Bowser, it's been ages, hasn't it? Sorry about going AWOL on you. I ran away because I was scared to fight Smithy. A lot has happened since then, but look how far I've come. I'm managing the store now. And look, here are my little ones. Come on, show your manners and greet Uncle Bowser. Hi, Uncle Bowser. You know what's, like, weird about this? Mario fucking demolishes these Goombas, even the small ones, in large numbers. Although I can't fight for you, I still have some items you can use. Maybe you'll find it in your heart to forgive me if I can help you get equipped. <sighs> Don't worry. I'm not angry with you. I've got new minions now, and we're gonna reclaim my castle. You go on with your life here. I wish you the best. I, Bowser is- this- Bowser is so good in this game. He's great. You wanna help too? Please, please, can we? They sell mush- <laughs> Of course I'll buy your mushrooms. That's very cute. I like that Goomhilda sells only Bowser stuff. Okay, it's time! Hey, wait, this doesn't work! Oh no! Read the disc? Or the description? A studded ball and chain, a stout shell? What? Vin respectfully fuck you for that. Oh, come on. Have a, have a little heart. I'm trying to take care of these... ...childrens. <laughs> you want me to kill them?! What, uh, what a description- oh, for the mushrooms? Oh, these are- it recovers 30 HP, but... Uh-oh.
Feel free to rest here. There's the three musty fears. Nice to meet ya. I'm Greeper. I am Burr. And I'm Dry Bones. And we're the three musty fears. He's sleeping. Oh boy, he sure is. Check those bubbles coming out of his nose. Maybe he can still hear us while he's asleep. Hey you! We want to play around to find the flag. Right. We hide a flag somewhere around the world. Yeah, find all three and you get an awesome prize. We'll go and hide the flags. See you when we get back. Hmm. Okay. I'm back. I hid mine behind a wooden flower. I'm home. My flag's under a green bed. I'm back. You'll never guess my spot. It's between an O and an O. They're invisible, so search very carefully when you think you found a spot. Oh. For some reason, I thought this was the bed where you have the dreams of the various things. And that's actually not here at all. That's it. That's later. That's later. I skipped the door. Oh, no, nothing important is in there. Been sealed. Look, the shiny stone is reacting. The seal has been broken. Wait, is that a Chrono Trigger reference? And that was in the original? No, I know what's in here. I'm just wondering if that I missed that reference years ago. I, I've, I've already been spoiled on Kulix staying a sprite. Greetings. I am Kulix, Dark Knight of Vanda. I've crossed into this dimension to fight for the Dark Mage. You who stand before me, where does your depth come from? Why are you rendered so three-dimensionally? <laughs> the evil power that had gave me life mapped out this flat plane as my form. You are formed from a power unknown to me. I wish to gain the secret of your three-dimensional world. You will enter combat against me? Yes, I want to hear the Final Fantasy IV music. Oh, they kept it <laughs> like this. I am matter. I am antimatter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I consume time. And I will consume you. Vinny, you're still in classic mode? No, I switched back, no? He did, it's just like this. There is no new music for this specific fight, okay. It's so good. This song is so good. Oh, oh man. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, maybe we have to come back to this fight. Does he know? I don't know. I, I'm aware that there's some fuckery uh, abound, but I don't know what it is specifically, chat. Like, people that don't want me to be spoiled saying, does he know, does not help. And then telling chat to shut up also doesn't help. It, it's best to just ignore and just talk about, like, vomit. It's better that way, trust me. freebie there. Okay. I think, more than anything, my speed is too fucking slow. Because, like, is it normal for this motherfucker to do that many attacks in a row? I mean, the level is too low, but also, I'm, yeah, the, the, it feels like the speed. Thanks, Toad, for telling me about leveling up in a video game. Level 20 to 22. Well, oh, hang on a minute. I forgot you could attack the crystals. Let me try that again. Wait, no? At least we get to hear the music again. This won't work. Leave the child alone! I keep getting the timing wrong on that. It would suck if I get the 30 jumps and then die. Which is going to happen, so I, I really probably shouldn't even waste my time here with this. Mm. 
Yeah, so I mean, you need- this is the place to use your items, and also to return when fully leveled. Well, that sucked. I thought I pressed the button that time. Wait, it's just press the A button, yeah? We'll come back. We'll come back. We, we have to get the lazy shell and all that other fun stuff. So that's what we'll do. But, yeah. I know one thing we could do that could be fun. Oh. Didn't work. Oh, I, I fucked it up. Alright, cool. <laughs> okay. Great. Or no thoughts had empty, it's possible. Hi Mario, it's me Toad! I wanted to let you know that if you fail at a fight, your HP has reached zero! Which is why you always gotta keep your health real high! Okay, thanks Toad. Attack your enemies until their HP reaches zero, Mario! Thanks Toad. Vinny, come on, actual babies are getting... are playing this game for the first time. I may be out-jumped, but you're totally out-pumped. Strong silent type, eh? Babies can't read. Dumbass babies. They're literally playing this game in the womb. And when I was in that rotten womb as a child, Douglas, I was playing Super Mario RPG. I feel like um, Edmund McMillan should probably update the Binding of Isaac with Rotten Womb as one of the levels is one of the areas. That would, I think that would be very appropriate. There already kind of is. It's not quite rotten. It's not called rotten, <laughs> but it's close enough. <laughs> only, oh, um, only scorn children come out of rotten wombs, everybody. Uh, where, where am I going again for the, the, is it, uh, where was it? Booster Pass? The, you missed the door for the key. Where's the door for the key? I'm so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little bit brain dead. Get the, or, or I can get the things. Yeah, there's three of them. Um, I can get that. The temple key door back near below me. So I have to do this whole thing again to, to do that? Use the spring in Monstro. What if I didn't unlock it? 
Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you mean. Wait. You did? Am I losing my fucking mind? Yeah, we're right here. Okay. Ugh. might be really tired. I am tired, yeah. Sorry I'm not accepting visitors past my bedtime. What luck. Oh, wow. I remember this room. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so, um, between... O and an A is the first flag. One's in a green bed. Um, green bed, red flag. I was thinking, uh, Rose Town. But that's not it. Um, I know there's a sign. I remember one of them, specifically there was a sign. Seaside town, no. Wooden flower between O and A and green bed. I thought it was Rose Town, but there's no A on the sign there. That's the wooden flower. Okay. Okay. That's not what I was <laughs> remembering. Um, the other one, uh, could be between... Okay, so, so let me think about this for a minute, chat. Beds aren't green here, are they? I, the only green beds I can think of might be Marymore, but even then I don't know for sure. So, I mean, maybe Booster Tower? Does Booster sleep in a green bed? Let's take a look in Mario more. Um... Is that green? It's like teal.
the entire guidebook from 96 is up on archive.org. I, I know, but it, it's not quite as good unless I actually find it. I guess the, the other one, I was about to go there and I thought it was silly and I didn't do it, but the Mario house. But first... Ha <laughs> ha there we go. Okay. And, uh, let me try Mario House. I think that's what chat was hinting at, but... I was this close to checking. I just didn't remember if Luigi had a bed here. Oh, that's just Mario's bed. What the fuck are they doing in Mario's house? Completed your shitty dream journal. Good job, you found all three flags. Hey, you're not half bad. You did pretty well. We had a great time, too. Thank you for playing our game. <laughs> Only, only different voices, boo. Now the grand prize giveaway. Farewell, and good morning. Well, that was peculiar. Now I shall write a movie called Ghostbusters and write a scene about my specific experience. Doubles defense during battle? Oh, that's actually... Yeah, that's pretty good. I think... Uh... I mean, Peach... Would be... Good. Um... I think it might be good on Gino. I'm voice cracking now. It's time to sleep. I will sleep very shortly. Uh, I just want to go see the paratroopers. They are at Booster Pass, is it? <laughs> I, I listen, I love Booster Pass. Remember when you told me to go to Booster Pass and I went to Booster Tower instead? Man, those are the best. Those are the best times I've ever had on the stream. This is so fun. Goodness gracious, let's game. Is that, is that what Jerma said that one time? No? What, how, what did he say? Honest to goodness? Let's... So I say, goodness gracious, we're gaming.
Oh my god. Ooh! Gotta block that shit. Spider is very powerful. If you get 30 using that, it, it counts. Okay. Got damn bees. happen there. Okay, great. You can fast travel directly there. Oh. Blocky Doki Luigi time. Consider this grinding for Culex. Culex? He can't fast travel until he's actually been there. I was at... Yeah, I think I was there. Select lands and it gives you more options. Oh. Well, I, yeah, I have those two options. sure where it is. Follow the ants, but don't go to the temple. Wasn't that the dead end? Hmm. Goodness gracious, let's gaming.
Oh yeah, well we actually were here. Can it? All troops in position! Mario, your mission is to scale the cliff by jumping shell to shell! Mission accomplished. Elapsed time is 12 seconds, 98. That's quite good. Keep up the great work. Isn't there like a reward for doing that even quicker? <laughs> Okie dokie. Frog coin under 11. Yeah, that's got to be under 10. That's, a, uh, that's 11, okay. Ten seventy nine, a trooper medal. This is uh, Grant's trooper confidence, gives you a fuckload of speed. Doubles attack and boosts speed. Doubles attack? What the fuck? Sub 10 for shotgun. Get yeah, shotgun. Uh, not faster than it was before. What? So what's the next goal? Is, is, um... Oh. Is sub-10, what do you get for that? A bunch of frog, frog... Five for sub-10. Sub 10. Sub 10! Make it easier to jump to the next shell when under the shell. What? Oh. Okay, now I'm just fucking this up. 
I mean, I've been fucking it up, but I'm especially fucking it up. Oh God, where's the jump? How'd you did not jump? Mario did not jump. I can't, I can't sleep until I get sub 10 chat. Come on, sub 10. <sighs> that was awful. Sub 10! If only he had wings in his shell. Here's a little something. Hell yeah. I don't even need them frog coins. Sub nine? I... Yeah, I would imagine sub nine's probably impossible, right? All right, I wasn't I supposed to go to bed? Okay, now I can go to bed. Now you have to kill Smilax? I thought you said Skrillex. I was like, oh, Skrillex is in this game too? This remake has everything. Okay, just because I like... I don't know, I feel better if I actually go to a save point. I'm gonna go to a save point. Alright, chat. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Mario RPG is great. And I'm really glad that this remake turned out to be as good as it has. It's been really good so far. And Turok 3 was surprisingly good too. It, sure, it's a little bit dated in a couple spots, but very enjoyable. So I'm hoping to uh, do more of this and that next week. I'm sure there will be more Lethal Company because there's just so many people that want to play it, which is a good problem to have. But um, also Cyberpunk, and at some point I'm going to Robocop more. It might end up being pre-recorded, but I would like to Robocop again because that game is cool. But uh, I'll be around. I'm going to try to stream again at some point either tomorrow or Saturday. I don't know if I will, but I'm going to try. I don't usually, but there's a chance. Otherwise, uh, if you don't see me, then uh, Sunday. Sunday it is. So, good night, everybody. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a great night. Shit yourself! Oh no, Mario! <laughs>